Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I set up my Todoist app, which is the to-do list app that I use to remain productive. Hey guys, welcome back to Tifro. It's me, Matt here, and today I'm showing you Todoist. Now, rather than doing a regular video style video, I'm doing an audio style video here, but I am going to be showing you screenshots of what I mean on the screen. I'm not going to be showing like a uh, video footage of it because first of all, I don't really have any good screen recording software and I honestly don't know what screen recording software is best to use because I haven't done it in such a long time. Um, but also I just want to like focus on certain parts of the program rather than going through absolutely everything in there. So for starters, once you've got yourself a copy of Todoist, which is completely free, I'm actually just using the free version at the minute. There is premium and I do have some uh, premium codes I plan to actually use later on. Um, but for now, I'm just using the free version. You may want the premium if you actually want to set like daily reminders for different things and so on. But I just check my to-do list all the time, so I don't really need that right now. Anyway, once you've actually got the version, whichever version you choose, there is something that you're going to notice when you open it up is that you have these projects. Now, by default, it gives you a few projects and I can't remember what they're called because I removed them all. So what I suggest doing if you actually want to use a similar layout to mine is to remove all of the projects that you see so that you can set up the projects yourself. So once you've got rid of them all, basically what I do is I have four main projects and then I have sub projects inside all of those, basically little folders inside all of those. So my main projects are routines. This is anything that I do on repeat. So anything that I do every single day is a routine. Everything that I do, you know, once a week is a routine. Everything that I do every month or every year is also a routine. Then the next project that I have is work. That is for everything regarding this channel, for, you know, new product ideas, for video ideas, all my video ideas go into work. Um, anything that I need to do, like uh, replying to emails or, you know, uh, checking my Patreon page or whatever it is, that all goes into the work projects folder. Then I have a folder just called things to do next. Now, I probably haven't named this best. I'm sure you guys can think of a better name. And if you have a suggestion for a better name, suggest it in the comments down below because I'd love to hear one. I just called it things to do next. And this is basically anything that I want to remember to do, but that doesn't have a deadline. So for example, uh, if there's just something that I need to get done at some point, then I'll put it in there. Or if there's a book that I want to eventually read, you know, I, I heard about a good book and I just want to remember it, then I'll put it in there. Uh, if it's a movie that I want to watch and I want to remember it, I'll put it in there. And if it's something that I want to buy, but I don't have a deadline to buy it by, then I'll also put it in there. Finally, the fourth project that I have is goals. This is where I put in both my short term goals and my long term goals. And yeah, it's self explanatory. Now inside of these projects, I actually have more projects inside of them. So for example, in routines, I have one for daily routines. And just as an example, I'm actually going to click on it now. And in there, I have some daily routines. So for example, I have read at least 10 pages or a chapter of the book that I'm currently reading, which is a book called Primal Branding, uh, meditate, uh, read my goals and visualize my goals, uh, do an hour of cardio, review my day and update the to-do list for tomorrow, and have a protein shake. And that's like daily stuff that I just need to remember to get done every day. I don't put everything in there. Like I don't put basic stuff like go for a shower, uh, or eat dinner or anything like that because that stuff I'm going to remember all the time anyway. I just put the stuff that you know I might need to remind myself, the kind of responsibilities that I have. The next thing that I have in my routines is also my weekly routines. So for example, I have all of my weekly workouts. I work out four days a week and so I have a reminder that comes up on each of those days. Now, something that I didn't mention yet is that all of these things are set up to reoccur. When you add something to your to-do list in uh, Todoist, you don't actually just have a thing to tick off. You can actually set a due date. So you can set a due date, like you can say uh, you want to do something next Monday, but you can also set a recurring due date. So for example, on Mondays, I have a lower body strength workout. And so what I typed in to do is I did add task and I typed in lower body strength workout every Monday. You can just type it in plain English like that and then add it. And what it will do is it will put that task every Monday. So every Monday it's going to come up with that. So for example, for your daily routines, if you want to set up one for daily routines, just like I have, then just type in the task. So say you want to meditate every day. What you want to type in is meditate every day. Simple as that. This program is really good at detecting, you know, plain English ways of wording things. 
one thing that I will warn about this is sometimes it thinks that you're trying to specify a time, a due time or whatever, or a due date. Uh, when you're not, when it's just part of the title. So sometimes I've like put in a book title and it thinks part of the title is, you know, me trying to schedule it for a certain day. So if that happens, what you can do is go into settings and there is an option to turn off uh, the actual like natural language processing thing that it does for the dates. And it's called intelligent input and you can just turn that off temporarily while you're adding in something and then turn it back on afterwards because it's useful to have. So after my weekly routines, I of course have my monthly routines and my yearly routines. You might be wondering what the hell I do yearly. Well, for one, actually setting new goals for the next year. So that's something I set up to occur every year on the 31st of December. So now my work project, what do I have as sub projects in there? Well, my work project isn't really categorized yet. I basically just put regular work stuff that I have to do regarding this channel in the work folder itself. But then I have a folder underneath it called ideas. And that is where this Todoist app is very, very useful, not just for planning your routine, but for helping you hold on to your ideas. A lot of people don't realize this, but when you come up with an idea in your head and you just try to hold on to it, keep it in your memory, most of those ideas get forgotten. You don't even remember how many amazing ideas you had that you've completely forgotten about now. So Todoist also serves as a place to store your ideas. So I set up this ideas project and for exa an example of what it looks like, uh, I have a thing that says at the top of there, video one, record to doist video. And that is what I'm doing right now. Uh, I put this idea in there and now I'm ticking it off because now I'm actually recording it today. Uh, but I do this for all my videos. I make sure that I've got at least seven video ideas ready every time I record. And then I record, you know, a week's worth of videos in one go. And so throughout the week, every time I get an idea, I write it in there. It doesn't matter how silly the idea is, I put it in there. And if I decide I don't want to do it, it doesn't matter. It's just stored there. I'm not going to forget about it. If I do later on decide that it's a great idea, then it's there for my reference. Now onto the things to do next project category. Inside there, I have four folders. The first one is called what to do. And it is just a folder where I have things that I want to do. So for example, I have a thing reminding myself to actually uh, figure out what my friend is going to visit. And in fact, I actually did that last night and I forgot to tick it off in here. So I'm actually going to tick that off now. Basically, this is anything that I want to do that doesn't have a particular deadline. Then I have one called what to read. And in there, I have all the books that I actually want to read. And in fact, I actually have one that I've already read there. So I'm going to tick that off as well. But I have all these books that I want to read and they're all just sitting in there in a list. And so I can keep track. So when I actually come to a time where I want to buy some books, I can look at this list and go, OK, I'll get some of these. Then I have one for what to watch, which is basically the same idea, but movies, uh, TV shows and you know documentaries, videos on YouTube, anything like that. And finally, I have one for what to buy. So for example, in there I have I need to buy more uh, weight plates. Uh, I need to look at web hosting so I can set up a web page for Tiffero at some point um, and so on. I've got like a list of different things that I want to buy and that's just kept in there with no deadline but when I you know have some money to spare and I need to go buy things I can check this list and check you know how it's prioritized uh, this is the next thing I want to mention about Todoist is you can prioritize things you can set them as different colors depending on how, what priority they are and so for example things that I really really need to get done that are to do with this channel uh, which I prioritize before everything else I I prioritize making my videos and so on before anything else in my life, basically, uh, currently. And I put those at the top priority so that I get them done first. And then I worry about other stuff afterwards. And certain things that are not quite so high priority, I'll put a different color and so on. And my daily routines, I also use a particular color for those just so I can see that it's just my daily stuff that I get done. Uh, it just helps me you know, keep track of it. So finally, in the last category, my goals, I have short-term goals. Uh, which is like, for example, right now I have hit 9% body fat because I'm currently dieting down so I can start a proper bulk this year. And I want to get down to 9% body fat around there uh, so that I've got a lot of room to work with because I tend to put on fat quite easily. And so like being leaner to start with will mean I can bulk for longer. Um, so I'm trying to do that. And that's in my short term goals because uh, I only have, you know, a few weeks left to do that. Then I have, you know, 2017 year goals, basically everything that I want to get done this year. So for example, I have hit 20,000 subscribers, which I'm already well on my way to. Uh, we're almost at 16,000 already, which is quite a pleasant surprise. Uh, when I set the goal, I had like, I don't know, like 6,000 subscribers or something like that. Uh, so it has shot up a lot since then. 
Um, and basically like next year, I will rename it to 2018 year goals and I'll put some goals in there and so on. So you've got an idea of how my Todoist works. So what do I basically do? Uh, well, each day I load up Todoist and I click on the bit that says today and it will show me all the things I have to do that day. And as I go through them, I'll get them done. I try to do them in order of priority, mainly with you know stuff to do with the channel first and then my daily routines and stuff afterwards. And then, you know, optional stuff after that. So you may notice that at the very top of that screenshot, there is a bit that says add name in the credits and give shout out when editing video. That is actually just a reminder for me to do something that I've offered to my Patreon supporters. And so in fact, I'm going to take the opportunity to do that right now. And I'm going to give a huge shout out and a huge thank you to Connor Hill for helping support this channel. If you're curious about some of that, like how you get your name shouted out in a video and so on and all the different Patreon perks, or you're just interested in supporting the channel, then I'm going to put a link to my Patreon right now. Even if you're not interested in supporting the channel, I do recommend that you check it out because I actually post little blog posts on there every week or so uh, with little details like what videos are coming out next week and so on. So even if you don't actually feel like supporting, you can actually check that out and get some you know, information in advance and just little tidbits that I post on there. So anyway, back to the video at hand. Basically, I just go through the list like this. I go through the things one by one and get them done. But after I've done all of that, one of the things that I set in my daily routines that I mentioned earlier is review day and update to-do list. And basically at the end of every day, I look at my to-do list and I look, what do I actually need to do tomorrow? So for example, today is the day that I record all my videos and I may, you know, uh, get some other stuff done as well. But tomorrow should be my editing day. So what I will put is, you know, I will go in at the end of the day and I will put in the things I need to edit and anything else I need to keep in mind and so on. And then alongside that, like I mentioned, I do have an ideas section. And any time an idea comes into my head, I click on the ideas section and I add it in and I make sure it has no due date so it doesn't tell me, you know, you have to do this on Monday or whatever. I just set it with no due date and just leave it there to look at later. And then when I come to, you know, do video ideas or I come to work on a product or I come to do something, I can click on that ideas bit and look through what's already in there rather than having to come up with something on the spot. So anyway, this has been a bit about how I used to Todoist. I could have gone longer and more in depth into this, but I thought that since I'm not using the screen recorder and can't, you know, show you things quite so individually, it would just be easier to keep it nice and short and nice and to the point. I hope this helps you guys out. And also I hope the audio quality is okay. I think this is my first time recording on this desk. And um, basically I have, you know, a new desk that you guys may have seen if you've seen my uh, recent like real talk video. Um, but yeah, I have that new desk and I have some like acoustic foam under my microphone now, which may improve the quality. So maybe the quality is actually better now. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And if you did, remember to subscribe and check out my other videos for more. And if you want to support the channel, check out my Patreon page. You can check it out anyway because I actually post free public content there, uh, basically blog posts about the channel. So you can check that out whether you want to support or not. Thank you guys for watching and take care.